Nice. And then this is one of my sunset attempts uh, using your method of spraying on the newspaper or the magazine and then dragging it. I didn't use the colored poster board because when I first saw your video I didn't realize you used colored poster board, but I'm going to have to give that a try next. Yeah. I'm not good with the palette knife yet. I'm better with this. But that's just a small palette knife that I grabbed. And so, uh, so one thing that would improve your palette knife technique is angling it. Do you oh, okay. hold it like this ever? Yeah, I could, yeah, I wouldn't have thought to do that. Yeah. Like if you angle it, then you get a really graceful line. Okay. Yeah, because this tree, actually, if, if you had just held this just a little bit more within it and angled, mm -hmm. it would have been very much prettier because you would have gotten a gradation of shadow. Oh, okay. I'll try that. But that, okay. I think what I did with this one, and I did use that, this, is I just dragged. Right. I didn't, you know, do the angle, didn't put a lot of pressure, just put enough to get into the, you know, put a little bit of highlight and you in got, it. And you got the little bit of the color from right. that. Right. Yeah, and that's cool. So tell me about what you have learned from the Spray Paint Art Secrets videos. Uh, I've learned, oh my gosh, so much. <laughs> cool. uh, the main thing that I learned it's, is that's the light. really is to have an open mind and what you're creating, but also how to manipulate the paint with the newspapers and the magazine. I learned more of that than anything. Because, you know, like uh, you have, you guys have that slide. I'm not gotten that down yet, but I'm, I'm getting there. Awesome. Uh, and then the sunset that you did, like we was talking about earlier, right. absolutely loved it. Awesome. That's, <laughs> that's the best way I've been able to do a sunset, because I'm not real good at blending the different variations of the sunset just by spray. Right. You and know, this lets you do it with your and fingers. And this lets me do it with my fingers. And, yeah. I can, and it actually makes it look more realistic to me. Yeah. Because... <coughs> Excuse me, because when some of the darker colors mixes in with the lighter colors, it's almost like it's got the cloud. Right. Because on sunset, your All clouds are usually a little bit darker. So, and clouds I'm having troubles with too. So, oh. but I'm I'm learning a lot. That's probably the biggest thing I learned is how to manipulate using the slide technique. Um, I'm working on getting better at it. I'm I'm into the doing the nature scenes right now. Right. So I'm doing a bunch of. There's not as much slide technique there except at the bottoms. So, but I'm, I've learned a lot of different techniques from. Uh, Do you from have you any guys. questions? Anything I could I could help you with? Uh, I would love for you to walk me through, if possible, how you actually do the slide technique. How to do the slide technique? To where? Because I know it's all in the. I know a lot of it's in the move of the hands that I'm not getting down right. Right. And I don't know if it's that I'm not. You know, because on one of your videos you're very animate on you pointing with your finger and lifting up on this edge. Okay. I, I watch the videos over and over so to see if I can learn. Okay, anything. we can do that. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it without uh, paint first so I can show you how to hold the paper. Okay. <laughs> Will you hold the camera and uh, yeah. whatever you capture, is, you know, you'll be able to watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll post it. A bunch of this and I've got like boxes of magazines. Okay. This, this is good. Okay. So, the slide technique is basically you want to have some some finger somewhere in here, and you're going to hold it with the other hand. Okay. And you try not to let this, you know, if this falls down, then you've got a weird right. stain on your... Then but, that's what seems to be happening. So you're controlling mind. it with this hand, and you're using whatever... You can use one finger, you can use your thumb, depend, and if you use this... What have I got here is a nail. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get a sharp line and I'm going to get a, a kind of a, a muted line where my finger is because it's softer. So I'll get those two lines if I use one finger. Uh, okay. So I can draw the top like that. But this finger is also touching down, so it's also going to make a rock. So I can do that and I can make some rocks. You know, basically okay. you're drawing inside. And I'm moving the paper as I slide. I'm drawing and moving at the same time. Okay. And that's what happens is that all of this slides the paint along, and so you get all you, you get little top line that you're creating, but you also get a whole bunch of texture underneath, right? Made by the paper automatically. And wherever you've rested your fingers, you get like a, sp a rock. It oh, gets okay. lighter. Now it's really important the amount of paint that you use. If you're just drowning in paint, what's going to happen is that the line at the top is going to be like you'll you'll push the paint up, and there'll be like too much paint here, and it'll like drip down. Right. And that doesn't work either. So you, you have, it's it's hard maybe to get the exact amount of paint, but you have to get used to it right. to the point where you're doing this and you get a, a, a little bit of a thin line and not a thick line of paint at the top. Right. And then okay. it's wet enough here. So trial that, and error. Yeah, trial <laughs> and error. 
Alright, um, so, let me get... Here's, this is kind of how I did it. Okay. Doesn't look near as good as that. <laughs> but I would, I kind of did the finger technique, but that was just to hold it down, uh -huh. and then I just push. Ah, uh, okay, that's a lift. different one. I, that's, that, see, that's how I was doing everything, and that's why I couldn't understand the slide part, because I was like, well, I'm doing, I guess as I wouldn't, when I watched it the first couple times, I probably wasn't watching you actually slide. It was, right. just, you know. So I would do like this, and but at the top, you know, I'd do like a little something like that, and right. then as I got getting a little more confident in it, I would just set it down like this, not adding any pressure and drag, and it didn't, and it never would come out looking like yours did. So I was like, what am I doing wrong? Now I know. Well, I'm gonna post. I'll, I'll definitely post this part of you know online, so you'll okay. be able to watch the video, see yourself, and then watch me do this again and again and again. Yeah. Oh, I was like. When, and when I posted on Facebook that I was going to have the opportunity to meet you, I mean, my, my friends that I have in Derby, uh -huh. and my father, and they were like, you know, they did the like on it, and, you know, they were like, I was afraid I was going to do something really stupid and goofy <laughs> like I normally would, and, you know, everybody, just the words of encouragement, and the words of encouragement I get from everybody that sees me do it makes me want to keep doing this, and for anybody out there that's even thinking about trying it, try it. Awesome. Try it. Thank you so much. This Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure nice. to meet you and to hear about your life and the roller derby and the oh, painting. Yeah. And any questions, email me or whatever. I will. I All will. Right. Thank you for stopping by. My pleasure. My heart is beating in the peace of God. Heart is beating.